No, can you move? Okay, um, can you move around here in, in the cutscene? Like, no, sorry. but you can like move the camera. I remember, right? Okay, yeah. Are you able to, to do it here? Or? Uh, only in some scenes. Oh, I remember? <gasps> actually, there are some cutscenes here where like it is um it, it is uh button sensitive, right? Like where you have to click on it to do something. Oh, the uh, what do they call? Tr not trigger events. Oh, uh, uh, trigger events. Yeah. No, they're not trigger events. Oh shit. They're uh. Action, uh, action, action events. Action. I know what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, where it's like I, it shows you, the, it promises you for the button press, and yeah, you're supposed yeah. to be ready for it. That's it. They even do it in, in French, so it is still MSF instead of many yeah. songs for tears, yeah. militaire. That's so terrible. I guess so. I can't, I can't get over that. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? I do like how the. Uh, that's it what is, I said, man. It's it. one of the most benevolent organizations <laughs> in the world. <laughs> Sam, what would we do without people like you? <laughs> uh, we would all probably burn in hell like me and Will. <laughs> oh yeah, oh, pff, I've, got, I've got front row tickets. I, <laughs> I, I do like this scene, like they, because you know this is they, these are these are like the big you know the, the guys who are heading the entire organization. They they they're debating over whether or not they should have get this base, but at the same time they don't trust their clients. So it's uh, it, it's uh, it's interesting. Uh. Yeah. Keep in mind, Metal Gear Solid Three happened before this game, so yeah. So that, that's why there's gonna we'll be a lot of stuff that's not you know newcomers what, even, that are like honestly, like, what? even if you did play Metal Gear Solid Three, which we have multiples of times, like this game still can be like so politically charged that it does get confusing. Yeah, yeah, but that that's what adds to the charm of it. <laughs> when you play this game, you kind of semi pay have to pay attention. He's a <laughs> robot. No, he's just got a Metallica. Yeah, yeah. It, again, it's, it, it's another influence. He's Jamie. He's actually like Jamie Lannister. <laughs> oh wait, spoiler shit. <laughs> no, if it no, that, that that season came out like what two years ago now. Uh, hey, yeah, hey, hey, that's uh, no. I, I don't consider spoilers like once an episode's out. Oh, I, I think it's oh I'm game. sorry if you consider it like that, but yeah. I don't know if the viewer. Feels no, well, you know what? I'm sorry. <laughs> if if something has come out, I, I only consider I know, a spoiler if it's a if it's a fact about like a show or movie that's that comes out before it, the movie or show has actually come out. But once the movie or show is released, spoilers are fair game. Because where do you draw the line after that? So like, is it a day? Would is you it a say week? like within the hour is allowed? Let's say an episode of Game of Thrones comes out sure. and somebody dies. <laughs> Within the hour, somebody posts. No, fuck that. I think the second it happens, you can live tweet it. Uh, I live tweet. See, I, I, I live tweet Gotham because it is, it's an extremely average show. Uh, and, and, and it's <laughs> I'm gonna really not be it. insulting anyone. Yeah, and it's it, it's actually fun to make fun of, but I actually do like the show. Um, but like the second I like, if I even thought of live tweeting like Game of Thrones, holy cow! I posted that thing on your wall like what a week after the episode came out. Everyone was like, "Yo, spoilers, man!" I'm like that. Nah, I a agree week. with them, man. I agree oh, with them. Jesus, <laughs> you people are soft. <laughs> it, it's, it's great that you're excited, but keep it to yourself. No, no, I will share my Oh, you have never world. seen Will's Twitter when Gotham is oh, going on. Oh, I have, I have, man. I'm like, I don't even have to watch it. <laughs> yeah, I've never watched an episode. I know what it's I about. Know. <laughs> He's so descriptive. Uh, like, this guy's so like, many characters. This guy's just freaking out about how awesome the Penguin Young version is. No, I, I do lose my shit, but the re the reason I lose my shit is because it's such an average show. Because you have irritable, irritable bowel syndrome is why you're always losing your shit. Yes, <laughs> yes. Oh my god, look at all these words. Anti Samosa, Sandinistas. Anti are, are they against samosas? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a terrible tragedy. I was yeah. serving ladies like Indian ladies once uh, at work and like just to, to preface like my family's actually from India but they we're not Indian right. so they were talking about basically how people were like racist against them because they're Indian and they're like but they love samosas <laughs> <laughs> No, samosas when made right are freaking the bomb. Yeah, no. Yeah. My grandmother it's an actually art form, makes man. samosas because she was born. My grandmother was born and raised in India, so she makes great Indian food. Ooh, ooh. Uh, spicy? Yeah, spicy. Yeah, okay, well, not just she spicy. makes like I grew up eating like curry samosas and that mm. kind of thing, but also the wonton and like everything like traditional as well. The wonton. The wonton. <laughs> the wonton. I was watching a cooking show recently, and she's like, "Oh, I'm making wonton, and it looked like a samosa," and I was like, "What kind of wonton are you eating?" <laughs> the once we, some I don't know if it's pronounced actually wonton because I feel like my grandma always said wonton, but huh. I don't know if that's just the dialect. If that's just the way she speaks? Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, they're still talking. <laughs> no, I feel like we're going to get very off topic Essentially, in these cutscenes. Essentially, they were trying to say that you have to infiltrate this facility to figure out what their weapon is. Oh, okay. And 
get intel on what's going on. Yeah, the, the, this game, uh, to, to what you were saying, Sam, uh, mm-hmm. th- this game is actually very, like, the cutscenes are more action-packed than not. I, it's just the beginning of the yeah. game. It's very context-heavy. The, what was it, Metal Gear Solid 4, you put oh, the game in? Yeah. First half an hour, you just watch. You, you know? put the game in, you put the controller down. Yeah. The first <laughs> half an hour, you just watch. Yeah, it's all, that that one, oh, God. I remember you. X, uh, X Play uh, tore them apart when that came out. They were like, you literally wait for half an hour to play <laughs> Seven out of ten, too much cutscene. <laughs> okay, so we're talking about this girl, so what's up, what's this girl's deal? So her sob story wasn't real. She pretty much escaped the... Uh, Oh, so, pause. Where, she, where is she from? She's from Cuba or Costa Rica? She's from Costa Rica, yeah, right? She's Costa Rica, yeah. I think so. And essentially, these people, um, I think they incarcerated her, right? Oh, yeah. And they abused her, but she managed to escape with her life. But she also recorded something on the cassette tape that they're showing there. Mm-hmm. And this is how they're going <laughs> to... Yeah, Sony was leaders. This is how they're going to pique the big boss's interests. Oh. To joining their uh, oh, so contract. what you're saying? The story begins here. Yeah. <laughs> it's a Walkman. <laughs> oh, the Walkman. <laughs> oh, but the first of its kind. The first of its kind. Yeah, yeah. This back was in the seventies, yo. This oh, is the oh, look, I heard they were working on something like that in Japan. <laughs> wow. Yeah, Kaz really... is Japanese, right? He's uh, half <gasps> Japanese, half uh, white. Yeah, I what? believe so. Why does everyone in this story look Caucasian, but they're like, a lot more, half of them are supposed to be like Cuban and everything. <laughs> oh, that's all. We were talking about those yeah. birds. Yeah. Oh. You, you gotta let talk, Sam, you know? You gotta embrace the story. <laughs> and, then, and then you'll understand. Oh, boy, we've been commentating over the whole thing. <laughs> Oh, man. let's be honest. Half of us, and we're just gonna be saying snake <laughs> <laughs> and Meryl <laughs> half the time. That's all we're gonna be saying, anyways. <laughs> it's not like you people that are watching this haven't oh, thought about playing it. Yeah, okay, yeah, this is more like the cutscenes. Like uh, Th- this is what happened. What uh, Paz recorded, right? When yeah. she was uh, exploring around the base. That I guess she didn't know was a base, right? <laughs> she also didn't know it was a video camera because we're getting heavy visuals here. <laughs> this Walko man is a. Uh, <laughs> that was a uh, snake's uh, mentor, mentor yeah. essentially. And Which, she's, is she actually talking about him when she says the poisonous snake? That if you don't kill it, then oh, are you talking about the boss? The boss was a she. The boss was a she. Yeah, but yeah. okay, in the recording, they were talking about a snake. Like if you don't kill, it's poisonous. If you don't kill it, it'll kill you. Was it something like that? So yeah. Like, it's talking about him as a snake. Like they, do they want yeah. to kill him? Um, if you don't kill him, he's gonna kill well, you. We're not sure, right? Like at this point. Yeah. Well, uh, it's actually, just a general. I, they, they, but yeah, it, what, it is a good. It, for for a little more context, so basically, uh, in Metal Gear Solid Three, Snake's Which mission was to, yeah, <laughs> the, 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 he was he was to, he was to kill his mentor, the boss, uh, and uh, you know, long story short, he he ends up doing it, uh, but he was I. He's not. He wasn't in love with the boss, but they do hit it, towards. It like, was it's, weird. It's a deep kind of love. It, it was like he saw her as a mom, yet also as a lover. Yeah. So it was like they didn't. He, he, and also he, as a teacher, right? Because as he, a teacher, he, closest friend, like basically everything. Yeah. He, he, she was everything to him, and his mission was to kill her. Um, you know, and uh, which he did. Uh, was she bad though? Was she doing? Does she do thing mm, about the game? She had her own philosophies, yeah. uh, and they were philosophies that she, the government didn't agree with. Yeah. Is that a big thing with this game? She, it's like the fine line between good and evil. Oh, like, definitely. And, and in the end, like we're already spoiling it, that she she dies, right? Yeah. So essentially, in the end, it showed that. Her mission was to die for the government because mm-hmm. they needed proof that the U.S. didn't uh, have to do with them another mission that they fucked up earlier. In yeah. The game. So essentially, she had to die to prove that the U.S. was uh, corrupted, not corrupted. Oh, in not Russia's corrupted. Eyes, oh, yeah, right? that's right. In Russia's eyes, that they yeah. weren't corrupted, even but though they knew. This girl's supposed to be Costa Rican. She looks. She's like blonde. Actually, I've met some uh, Latino girls that look like that. Oh. Really? Uh, if you go to Mexico, like, I'm white as hell. I don't look like I'm like, my name is I... Taco. No. Uh, <laughs> You're like, I'm from there. I can say that. Yeah. But if any of us said that, that would have been extremely offensive. Yeah. <laughs> oh, come on, man. We're all family here. <laughs> we're, we're all family here. Uh, actually, yeah, I do have a friend who I honestly thought she was Caucasian. She, she's full of, she's full yeah, of Mexican. It's just like we... There's a lot there's of... There's a lot of variation. Yeah, there's a lot of variation. Yeah. There's, there's, there's a lot of there's, Mexican with green eyes and blonde But there's an too. issue, too, when they're, like, oversaturating what, like, oh, like, every person... Because, you know, people can look Caucasian. We're going to make everyone look Caucasian. There's no representation of people that don't look Caucasian. Yeah, you know I mean? yeah. No, Because exactly. everyone in this game looks Caucasian. Yeah, no, they do. But it's like, made in Japan. <laughs> Well, Mario is a uh, well, he, he was Italian? a he's an Italian guy who was created by a Japanese man, uh, but 
uh, one of his games was developed in America, I think it is. Uh, he's on the ground because he's scared. He's not. You just smash him down, right? And now he's like shitting his pants. <laughs> so much his, detail. His legs are shaking. Yeah, look at that. I don't think he's clipping. Him? What yeah, what are you doing? Are, are you trying to Fulton him? Yeah, for, no, you don't not, have to not Fulton. Fulton uh, uh, do you know when he shakes his butt? Oh no, he would have done it by now. Oh really? Basically, in this game, you, uh, you can terrify the 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 prisoners so much that they'll that they'll wiggle their ass and uh, let go some <laughs> ammo, uh, and you can collect the ammo. <laughs> then, yeah, and you pretty much. Uh, why are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to be badass. <laughs> the first time I did this, I felt like a true American no, hero. The, the, the first time one of them did that, I was like, wiggle, 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 wiggle. <laughs> and then they gave me their ammo. So as you can see in the upper right corner, that's... Uh, so is that the what they're doing level? in the clubs? <laughs> <laughs> it all came from Metal Gear. Oh, sorry, Dave, what were you saying? Oh, the radar? Yeah, that's is that um, based on noise? Yeah, this this radar, it, it's a very... Um, it, it, this radar is based off noise, so eventually you can upgrade to a to a visual radar uh, but right now yeah you can only base it off noise so I, I find it really inaccurate but eh, you know it's what you have to deal with uh, it also speaks very true to the times I think the times Jack uh, so for more context of Metal Gear Solid 3 so people aren't completely confused you can yeah um, oh, yeah, you, yeah we are going for the trank route on this right yeah, so okay, pretty yeah. much Sam trying not to kill people. <laughs> yeah. uh, you so have to you, remind me, so too. So you just tranquilize them. Oh, yeah, so he's sleeping. Yeah, yeah. So eventually they will wake up, uh, and you can shake them awake, too. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Uh, but, uh... <laughs> Fireball. <laughs> 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 okay, if someone's <laughs> actually tranquilized, I don't think you can shake them awake. I don't think that's a thing. Uh, no, you, well, you, you can, like, knock them around a bit. Eventually they'll wake up. Oh, one job. Go hide in your box. <laughs> Yeah, not, that's, not, that's all I know about. Not yet. I, yeah, no, no, yeah, that's for a special occasion. Oh, your suppressor's almost out. That song makes... I feel like I may have played... That song that sound makes me a little bit anxious. I feel like I may have played one of the earlier games when I was young. Oh. But I couldn't finish it. Yeah. Um... And I felt like, you know, when you hear that sound, it's like, Meh, and then it like, oh, like they know you're right. So it's like, oh, yeah, it gives you anxiety, yeah, yeah. right? Like, so similar games where, you know, they have that noise, like the alert. I don't right. really play shooters for that reason, but um, I had someone that I guess played games and that was their tone whenever they got a text. Right. And I had to like, I was, oh, you need to put that on fire because it's freaking me out. When you just pull out your box and be like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's very brutal. Yeah. I'd say. No, I, I, that noise is pretty. I, uh, I have, I have crusher fear because I grew up with Sonic games and like, it, it's, it, you, you, it's an and death if you get crushed by something mm -hmm. when i watch uh, when i watch let's plays mm -hmm. uh and i someone almost gets crushed i honestly do flinch I get, oh both of us are fairly anxious though, we are fairly get, anxious like, people when i watch things too and something's happening i get like the little like pang in my chest yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. When, I, when i watch people playing games i'm like oh my god no get it no. I, i'm almost glad damien's playing this one because like the beginning at least because yeah. i i this is brutal <laughs> like i haven't played this part in years man like Wait, grade were we in when we... We were high school. Yeah. 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 Like, I'm going off of memory, like, how old would that be? Like, Why are these still running, these credits? Didn't we see the credits already? Uh, they just like crediting themselves for everything. Hideo <laughs> Kojima just likes his name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so true. Cred no, he, Wait, isn't the love box in your hair or some shit like that? The love box? Oh, yeah, yeah. I think, uh, is that is, it? Is that it? What do you do in the love box? Oh, do? Sam. Oh, actually, <laughs> she's not wrong. Oh, Really? <laughs> What are you doing? Oh, what? okay. So th this is a spoiler because it's in one of the trailers. But uh, basically, uh, in the love box, um, oh you can God. fit multiple people, like multiple players, into it. Uh -huh. The thing is, the only other when you do multiplayer, you're just other snakes. So you can all go into the same box. So basically, is it like a glory hole? <laughs> Man, this is getting dark. <laughs> I was trying to sugarcoat it, but I really appreciate you just going all the way. But is it? <laughs> no, not no. really. No. Why You can all go into the same box together, and it's like, you know. And what do you do? <laughs> well, you use it to hide, but they call it the love box as a joke. <laughs> oh, oh, careful, careful, careful. Oh, come oh, on, man. oh, okay, there. See, the red is, uh... You... Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, why is... But oh, there's a guy... Trank him, trank him! What are you doing? Trank him! Oh. Leave him alone, Oh, he's scared. Dude. Okay. Leave him alone. But can't they see you? Guys? Like, don't they know? Like, there's no, a guy up there. There's a guy he's up dumb. there. No. They're, they're, <laughs> they're basically the Goombas of this game. <laughs> I'm sure if you stomp on their heads, they're just flattened. Dumb ways to die. <laughs> <laughs> dumb ways I'm not lie. This is a very dumb way to die. <laughs> this is a pretty dumb way to die. <laughs> oh, man. Should I trank him? Yeah. Oh, pff, yeah. But there's a lot of obstruction... 
I already feel like this, go, this go, game go now, must go be now, easier go than now. Splinter Cell. When I was playing Splinter Cell, it was like... That game gave me anxiety. I don't know if I... Uh, I, played, I, didn't I played two of them, I think, and then I, I stopped. Oh. oh. Complete. <laughs> Wait, you didn't investigate anything! You found a box where people do dirty things in it, and that's all you've done. Yeah, I, I call this Operation Bullshit. <laughs> and you put some people to sleep and made them shake their ass. <laughs> You're you didn't do that yet. You haven't seen it yet. He, they were shaking a little Here bit. Here is Whoa. it. Oh, Blood. So Vocaloid? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, the Vocaloid thing. This this is one of the only games on the PSP at least that, that featured Vocaloid. Like Hatsune Miku? Yeah, Hatsune, like Hatsune, Hatsune, Miku. Hatsune Miku. Oh, all right. Oh, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry, mother. <laughs> Boss, forgive me. Oh, okay, so that was one of the uh, action scenes. Don't they train them not to talk? <laughs> Do you want the cutscenes to be an hour long, Sam? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this big thing, he's like, this is how you interrogate someone, they're like tied to a chair. <laughs> what weapon would you like to use? Which weapon would you like to use? Are you sure? Man, this guy isn't <laughs> taking any prisoners, he's just shanked him in the neck. <laughs> Which weapon would you like to use? You, you selected putter. <laughs> Are you sure? Might I suggest fire saw? You just you selected putter. <laughs> What's a fire saw? I, <laughs> it's a, a saw that shoots at fire. It's something like, that I really it's want. It's some really hard wood you need to burn instead of cutting. Fire it saw? It's basically like a chainsaw that's set on fire. And I think it's badass. <laughs> if I was a villain, that'd be my weapon of choice. Ooh, weapon of choice. I feel like... I feel like... Helicarrier. Nick Fury, be mine! <laughs> Sorry. It's a dramatic moment. It is. His headscarf is blowing in the wind. Ashley like, Wood. He's what? very like shocked here because he hears uh, his mentor's voice, but it's being sang by a robot, right? Mm. I think he recognizes as the boss's voice, right? Yeah. So it actually is sung by Hatsune Miku. Oh no, sorry. So Vocaloid is um, uh, Vocaloid was basically a technology that um, well for those of you who don't know, Vocaloid is a technology that um, basically it takes sound waves, uh, and then uh, a, a, like a video software can convert those sound waves into like moving like a moving image. So Hatsune Miku is uh, is is a Japanese uh, pop star, but she doesn't exist. She's only made through. Uh, uh, through sound waves, uh, and then the sound waves dictates how the avatar moves in like live concerts. You know, they could Wikipedia this. They could Wikipedia. <laughs> yeah, it's a really cool concept. Yeah, I, I so, highly recommend people look it up on YouTube. So, in the game, they have that technology and they're using it to replicate someone else's voice. Is that the thing? It's sort of not as it doesn't go as. Uh, I thought it was like as a guest star, they had Hatsune Miku as the singer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> guest artist Ashley Wood, guest singer Hatsune Miku. Hatsune Miku. Have you heard of any of her music? Hatsune Miku's? Yeah. yeah. It's oh, interesting. Yeah. What's, what's I, any, I any... It's basically Nightcore. I actually Nightcore. didn't like her music, to be honest. <gasps> I love Hatsune Miku. It was Miku, a little really. too, like... Heroism. Oh, fuck. I'm getting you trophies. I just realized that. Damn it. Yes! <laughs> my plan is working. Okay, so we're yeah, going for that For those of you who don't know... Oh, and he got me an A-Rank. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, for yeah. those of you who don't know, it's we... That's better than what you do in school. Oh! Wouldn't S be satisfactory? Why is S the best? Superb. Yeah, super. Supersonic. Super? <laughs> Sam. <laughs> Sam. <laughs> S is for Sam. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, I like it so he's making his music. There's a few of them now, a few Vocaloids. Yeah, there, but Hitsune Mik uh, 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 um, She She was like the first one. Yeah, she was, yeah. She was the real OG. <laughs> <laughs> With the real Slim Shady. <laughs> uh, <laughs> more context. Um, then okay, these so are the rebels, right? Yes, yes. So, more, for more con. Well, actually, we're getting to the end of the part, so I might open the next part with uh, more mm. context on the game. Essentially, they're here to investigate. I guess, like the where the rebels are. Where the rebels at, at are. At this point, right? I yeah. think so. Or, uh, what they're trying to do, at least. Again, ladies and gentlemen, the, the beginning of the story is actually really convoluted. It, 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 this is actually especially if you haven't played the third game. Yeah, though, especially right? if you haven't played the third game. But I think this is as convoluted as it gets. The rest of the game actually becomes very straightforward. Uh, it becomes more character driven. Would, yeah. would you agree with that? Later yeah. on, it does. Yeah. See, I'm not. Maybe this is gonna be a stupid question. I'm not very big no. on history, but the treaty that they're talking about, because they are kind of mixing things that actually are uh, real yeah. and not. So was the treaty actually real? Is there like <laughs> yeah, some yeah, kind yeah. of law with no yeah. no nukes? Yeah, th there was the peace yeah. treaty. Yeah, yeah. 
Because yeah. that would that ended the Cold War? <laughs> that would have ended the quote unquote the Cold War, yeah. Yeah. It would have at least settled peace between uh, the states and uh and Latin America. So that was yeah. So yeah, yeah. Good point though. The, this game does mix a because lot of history. Because I don't want to be like in a history class, be like, <laughs> so you know the MSF, the like no, you know like the mil militaire sans frontier, and they're like, Sam, that's from a game. <laughs> like, no, that didn't happen. Honestly, I, I, this, Metal Gear Solid is the reason why I took Cold War as a liberal in university, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like. I don't see Snake anywhere here, sir. <laughs> you write a whole essay on why Snake um, should have been involved in no, the Cold War. No, it's just War. like, um, wrong. It was actually Snake. <laughs> why did the Cold War went? <laughs> and, um, actually, it was because actually, of Snake. Actually, it was this year. Uh, the uh. boss ended it. <laughs> so oh. here's where we get introduced to Mother Bay is the hub of the game. <laughs> <laughs> All right, actually, on, on this note, uh, I think we'll end the part here, and then we will, uh, and then we'll continue, uh, yeah, with, uh, uh, discussing more about Mother Bay. So we'll see you guys soon. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye.